Hey friends. All right, you guys voted last Dropping It Live and the topic I'm gonna to talk about today, one, that got them unanimous, uh, not unanimous, but I should say the majority of the vote. So it's cooking with essential oils. How cool is that? So all the people who commented on my last Dropping It Live and tagged three of their friends and also told me uh, a suggestion on what topic to talk about next, got entered into my little raffle where I'm giving away the Carvent diffuser and a five milliliter bottle of the Cinnamon Bark essential oil. So I've got your names in here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick the winner right now from last week. Let's see, throw it up high. Let's see who wins. Tara Zampa, woo hoo! Oh, and I didn't do the flip around. Dang it, I wish I could do that. Oh, I wonder if I can, no I can't. Darn it, everything's backwards now. I always forget that setting when I go live. Anyways, congratulations, Tara. I will get that in the mail. It's a little mini car vent diffuser and a five milliliter bottle of cinnamon bark essential oil so your car will smell nice and fresh. So cooking with essential oils. I wanna go over that today because it's a really neat way to use Young Living essential oils if you're not already doing that. So you know the three uses, aromatic, topical, and of course internal use with Young Living essential oils. So they are the only essential oil company that I would recommend using for internal consumption, okay? And the reason being is because they actually have, um, well, you know, the distillation process, the seed to seal promise, they are the most pure and the most potent essential oils, but they've also registered some of their essential oils with the FDA, with the Food and Drug Administration, okay? So that means they're actually labeled as safe for consumption and internal use. Okay, so this frankincense oil that's in the red bottle is exactly the same frankincense essential oil that's in this white labeled Vitality oil. And again, I'm sorry that it's backwards, you guys. I forgot that setting. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Pat. Mom. How are you guys? So exact same oil. It's just one is labeled for aromatic and topical use and the other is registered with the FDA for internal use, okay? So Vitality Line are the white labeled essential oils. And those are the ones that you can really have fun with uh, cooking. So you can basically, um, maybe I'll give you some general guidelines first on how to store your, your essential oils for cooking. So I actually have mine in a cool dark place um, that's dry. Some people keep them in the refrigerator. Um, but I just have mine in a little spice rack and I have all the, the Vitality oils that I typically use for cooking, like oregano, thyme, dill, tarragon, lemon, I have um, peppermint, spearmint, and I have one more in there, and basil, I have taste of Italy. What else do I have in there? Um, lemongrass, I don't know if I said that. Love using lemongrass, especially with any type of curry or coconut dishes, it's awesome, you guys. So you just have them you know, stored wherever you normally would have your spices, um, mine are near my spice rack. Um, you always wanna make sure that the lids are on tight, that they're out of reach of your children. Um, you also always wanna use um, glass or stainless steel when you're mixing, right? You don't wanna use like a plastic bowl when you're cooking with essential oils. Um, what else can I say? Um, some people will put them in a little one ounce spray bottle with a, um, olive oil or grapeseed oil or whatever oil you like to cook with and they'll add their essential oils to that little mini spray bottle so they'll just use that to spray on their food whenever they want or you can add it to a dropper bottle and have it pre-mixed as well if you want like say a dill infused olive oil right you can already have it pre-made so you can use it that way as well okay so i just typically use mine straight from the bottle i'll just drop it in you always want to start slow and you want to start with a small dose so um if you're not used to taking essential oils internally, then I always say start slow and start low. So only start with one or two drops and you can actually test to see how your body will respond to those essential oils um, by actually just dropping it in like a shot of rice milk, um, agave syrup, a spoonful of honey, anything like that, olive oil, coconut oil, and then you can ingest it that way just to see how your body will react to it. Um, and usually there's no, there's no issues. Some people have a detoxification response, okay? So they might feel a little nauseous or something like that. Um, so that's why you always wanna start slow and then work your way up. And really, you don't need a lot when you're cooking with essential oils because one essential oil can be anywhere from 100 to 10,000 times more potent than the herb form. So a little bit goes a really, really, really long way. Um, my first experience with uh, essential oils and cooking were my peppermint brownies. 
Um, they were amazing. And that's a whole batch of peppermint brownies, you know, like in a nine by 13 pan. And I think I only added three to four drops of peppermint essential oil. And for a reminder, uh, one drop of peppermint oil is equal to 26 cups of peppermint tea, okay? When we're talking therapeutic value, uh, what you're getting out of it that way. So lots of flavor with the essential oils, great for cooking. So you can start with like something basic, like maybe a salad dressing, right? Your olive oil vinaigrette salad dressing, you can add essential oils to that to give it a pop. Maybe just one to two drops is all you're gonna use. Um, another thing you can do if it's a stronger essential oil, like um, marjoram, oregano, basil, thyme, any of those that have that real strong flavor, you can actually dip a toothpick into the orifice so just in that hole right there you're just going to insert the toothpick and then you'll take that toothpick and swish it into whatever it is that you're making and um, that's a good way to start as well um, let's see what else i can tell you about it they actually have a lower flash point so temperature wise if you are cooking over high heat okay so if you're like sauteing some fish or anything like that um, I would suggest adding the essential oils at the end of the cooking process. And that way you're going to um, withhold all of those therapeutic constituents that are gonna benefit you. Okay, so um, you're still gonna get that mad punch, that great flavor coming through, and you're also gonna get all the therapeutic uh, benefits. Um, I still bake my brownies, you know what I mean? I still have the oil added into that as I'm baking it, but if I'm making any type of soup or sauce on the, the stove, I'm gonna add the essential oils at the end, okay, when it's not like simmering and boiling, okay? Um, let's see, if you wanna do like recipes, I'd say one drop of uh, citrus oil would be a substitution for anything that calls for one teaspoon of citrus zest, okay? So one drop to one teaspoon of zest would probably be the equivalent. If it's saying the zest of one whole fruit, then I would probably use about eight to 10 drops of the essential oil, citrus, whatever it is, lime, tangerine, orange, lemon. Uh, and then if it's anything minty, okay, if it says one teaspoon of dried mint leaves, then I would use one drop of that essential oil. And then like I said, anything like the basil, marjoram, oregano, rosemary, all those really strong essential oils, um, I would probably start with a toothpick dip because you really don't want to like overpower your sauces, right? With like too much oregano or too much rosemary or anything like that. So you can do the dip swish technique for that one and then any floral essential oils that you're using um, uh, for the vi from the vitality blend you would probably want to start really low with those because it's an uncommon flavor but i know people who add lavender essential oil one drop to their bowl of vanilla ice cream right or coconut based ice cream um, you could do the same with mint it, add it to chocolate ice cream you know you can really really spice up your, your diet that way and do a really special treat for, for people, for guests, for your family, anybody. And again, you're gonna get all those therapeutic benefits from the essential oils. Um, my husband alone just adds peppermint and lemon oil to his clean canteen, okay, stainless steel container. And he's getting all the benefits of that lemon essential oil, which is helping to um, support his immune system to cleanse and detoxify his body to lower his actually I should say increase his pH right to an alkaline level um, he's getting all the digestive support from the peppermint oil and that's the same thing when we are ingesting it in our food like vanilla ice cream Nathan yes it's delicious um, okay so that's a little bit on the essential oils um, how you can use them I do want to show you this list and again I apologize it's backwards you guys poor poor setting here but look at all these essential oils that young living has everywhere from the singles to the blends that are actually um, considered safe regarded as safe for ingestion and then also um, registered like I said with the FDA as a food additive um, so I want to name some off that you wouldn't typically expect like Idaho balsam fir uh, let's see um, cedar wood chamomile we kind of know citronella uh, copaiba eucalyptus Elemi, frankincense, galbanum or galbanum, I never know how to pronounce that, goldenrod, hyssop, uh, da, 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 melissa, mountain savory, myrtle, onica, patchouli, palmarosa, pine, rosemary, sage, sandalwood, spruce, um, tsuga, Valerian, vetiver, wintergreen, alang alang, and then some of the blends. Um, of course, Digize, Citrus Fresh, Christmas Spirit, Believe, 
Believe is FDA approved food additive. Um, Juvaflex, Longevity, M-Grain, Purification, Relieve It. I mean, that's stuff that I never would have really considered to ingest, but awesome. Um, another way to do it is in capsules, and I've talked about that before, but we're talking cooking today. So um, some of the ways that you can start with, I mean, basically, you guys, the, the recipes, I can't even like put them in subcategories. But if you're one of those like easy, um, go to the grocery store, buy a container of hummus, transfer it to a food safe container that's not plastic, and then add a couple drops of lemon essential oil to that, or dill, um, or lemongrass, you know, whatever it is, experiment, have fun with that. You can do the same with your guacamole, with your salsas, any marinades or dressings that you're doing. It's really gonna kick it up a notch. Cocktails, if you're into cocktails, one of my favorite is a mojito with spearmint vitality essential oil instead of the fresh spearmint. Super easy, you just like are squeezing in the fresh lemon, you're adding one drop of the spearmint oil, topping it off with um, the, you know, whatever you wanna add to it. I use the bubbly water, uh, Pellegrino or Perrier, anything like that. I mean, it's really easy and super refreshing. And again, you're getting all the win-win benefits from the therapeutic properties and also that flavor. Um, so yeah, teas you can do, um, any types of, like add them to your smoothies in the morning. My kids love that. Our popsicles, we add them to our popsicles to give it that boost, excuse me. Um, the drinking water, anything like that. Hey, Summer. Hey, Barbara. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'm just joking. <laughs> oh, my allergies are really bad today. I don't know why. Um, so really fun also to add to any, like I mentioned, the soups, the stews, the curries, um, scrambled eggs, frittata, brownies, any of the little um, balls that you make for dessert, like the chocolate or date balls, you know, that are vegan or anything like that. I mean, there's just the the sky is the limit, you guys, and I wanna encourage you to be creative and not wherever an herb is called or a citrus is called for the recipe, reach for your Vitality Essential Oils from Young Living and experiment and try it and have fun and don't be scared. Just go for it, you guys. So maybe I'll try to find some recipes and I can post them in the comments here. Um, we also have our educational Facebook groups online if you wanna be added to those reach out to me. I will try to my best to get you all added as soon as I can. And um, you're going to learn a lot. You're going to see tons of recipes in there and how people are using these in their kitchen as well. So if you guys have comments on what you've used it, or if you have a recipe you want to share, drop it in the comments below. Share it and spread it. I always love learning more. I'd say my favorite is the lemongrass in the curry. I always use the, um, you know, basil, oregano, all those for, uh, sauces, pizza sauce, or any type of red-based sauce. Instead of pesto sauce, what I do is in my Vitamix, I add spinach leaves, pine nuts, olive oil, Himalayan salt, and then I add drops of the basil essential oil and puree that all up. So now we're getting all the healthy benefits from the spinach, right? Instead of just the basil leaf, we're getting all the spinach um, nutrients and then the flavor of the basil. So I love it. I love it a lot. Um, so yeah, drop it in the comments if you guys have any questions or if you have recipes you wanna share. Congratulations again to Tara Zampa for winning last week. Loved it. You guys gave me a nice list of future things to, topics to talk about. So um, feel the uh, uh, da, 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 emotions, traumatic emotions with essential oils, um, animals came up, the feelings kit protocol, and then fighting fatigue and boosting energy. So some of those topics I've already covered in my previous Dropping It Lives, and I'll just reach out to you guys and maybe send you those, or I might do a little refresher on those as well. But thank you guys so much for the ideas, and let me know what your favorite recipe is. Love you guys lots, and I'll see you next week, next Tuesday for Dropping It Live. Bye guys.